one second. All right, here we go. All right, we are starting our class that is called Get Ready to Dance, a series on training your body for performance, whether you ever set on the stage or not. We're gonna start working with muscle engagement, work on some movements and dance concepts. So follow along with me. And these will be both uh, on the YouTube and the Instagram. Should be recorded so you can access them later if you want to review or you know, obviously if you missed it or you want to share it with someone. So, all right, let's go ahead and start. Let me take my music back to the beginning. We're gonna do a warm up. All right. All right. Make sure you have a little bit of space. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale up. Reach way up. Exhale, coming down. Good. Do that a couple more times. Let me fix my camera over here for my YouTube people. This is like, make sure we got all the angles. All right. Okay. Nice deep breath. Inhale up. And exhale, coming down. Go ahead and open your stance. Let's do that again. Inhale up. And exhale down. We're going to go ahead and plie and take it up. Good. And down. And plie. And up. Let's do that one more. Plie and up. Good. Right here, we're going to take it over, all the way over. You don't have to turn. I'm just doing that so you can see the ankles. Flat back to start. Knees are going to be straight. And then we're going to bend the knees slightly and down. And you're going to Contract your abdominals round the back, pulling up and release. Again, flat back and contract and in and release. And we're going to do that a few more times. Just get the back warmed up. Make sure you're using your muscles, using your abdominals. And pull in and release. And so I'm not purposefully trying to come up. What I'm doing is I'm pulling in and then just allowing that movement to continue pulling into my body as I pull myself up. So I'm not really trying to use my legs. I'm using more abdominals to get that warmed up. Up. Let's do two more. Flat back to start. And in. And last one. And in. And up. And relax. Shake it out. So we're going to do that from the front. Open. Nice. Deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Contract. Pull in. Same thing, use your muscles, inhale, open, and exhale, contract, pull in. Inhale, open, and exhale, contract. We'll do two more, inhale, open, exhale, contract. Last one, inhale, open, and exhale, in, and relax, shake it all out. Good, let's do our arms, just nice big circles coming up and open, and open. Just try to reach your fingers straight up and out. And we're going to reverse that, so we're going to go the other way. So over. So this is really for your back shoulders, chest, just get everything moving. If this is the first time you're moving today, this might feel really good, especially if you've been doing other things like sitting or working. And then we're going to reverse. We're going to go one, going one way, one the other. Just circle them around and reverse them. And around. Excellent. And shake it out. All right. Good, good, good. All right. So as we get into the muscle work, there's a, uh, a particular sequence that we do this. That's probably really loud. Let me turn that down for you. All right. So the sequence of muscle engagement start with the low belly coming in and releasing and we're talking about the pelvic floor muscles with that so we're just going to go ahead and tuck that in just a little bit we're going to do a little bit more stretching so if you're completely relaxed if you have a you're not using any muscle engagement you're probably maybe you know just kind of straight leg like this is how I would normally stand but if I'm going to start to move I'm going to align myself just a little bit even if you're just going to walk so just a tiny little bit of attention right in the low belly. Make sure the knees are soft. And right here, we're just gonna start pressing through the oblique so that you're stretching those muscles out. And make sure you're not using your legs. So here's the difference, pushing with the legs, which can be really nice too sometimes. And then al alternating that with pulling in the abdominals and just letting your muscles stretch. So you're thinking about keeping your rib cage 
sort of in this, in this shelf box area, and then letting your hips slide. So stretching that out. Keep going with that. I'm just gonna check in with you guys, make sure everything's cool here. Hi guys. Hi everybody. Oh, love, love everybody watching on Instagram. Yeah, the audio is great on Instagram. Awesome. All right. So again, let's do that slide. If you feel more comfortable opening your stance just a little wider, that might stretch different parts of your, your hips and your thighs and you know, maybe get things moving a little bit differently. So experiment with having a more closed stance, but still using your muscles to stretch and then maybe opening that stance up just a little bit. And so we want to be also aware of the upper body. So when you're doing these exercises, if we're working with the lower body, don't forget that you have arms. We have arms and they are such a big part of our expression, not just in dance, but just the way that we express ourselves and our arms and shoulders, they speak volumes for us even before we open our mouths with words. Sliding and stretching. Good. So every once in a while, I like to just kind of move my arms like this and just pull it up, especially if it gets a little bit a little boring. You want to add more feeling to your practice. The other thing I do is move my hands like waves. And all I'm doing here is I'm pulling up with my wrists and just letting them settle. So pull up with the forearm and let them settle. So they look like little wavies right here. And you want to try to kind of go with some kind of a pattern with the beat. If that's too much to think about, just do the move just here. So don't worry too much. I'm gonna add things like this all the time on top of what we're doing. And they're just meant for you. If you want that extra challenge, then you can do that. So just work with what works best with you and what you're feeling right now, your body, your mindset. So shake that out. Good. So let's do upper body now. So for upper body, we're gonna do the same kind of movement, that sliding movement. Just go ahead and pull the belly in. So you're gonna tuck that belly up, wide stance, and keep your weight in your heels. We're gonna anchor the lower body into the floor and just let your upper body reach. So we're gonna use the arms. So I'm not gonna move the arms up and down. I'm just gonna reach with the back of my fingers, back of my hand, reaching. And this might be seem really hard. So you're gonna to have to really contract through your abdominals so that you don't pull things or shift things out of alignment, reaching and stretching. Make sure your abs are pulled in, but you're also nice and tall through the body. Reach and reach. So here's what we don't want. We don't want this. So it's not a leg stretch. It's for the core and the back. So reaching. So keep those, keep the hips, the knees, and the legs anchored where they are so we don't want them to move. And we can start moving the shoulders or moving the arms to kind of leaning over and just allowing your head and neck to relax, but pull that belly in tight and then use that abdominal contraction to pull you to the other side. And do this in the range that feels good for you. Don't try to overdo it. If this is as far as you could go, that's totally fine. You just wanna work with the body that you're in so that we can get stronger from where we are now. Shake it out. And speaking from experience, you're gonna go through lots of different phases in your fitness level and in your interests. So keep that in mind. So what, you, what you're working on now, what you did a few months ago or even a few years ago, I'm sure is different from what you're interested in and what you need now. And that same thing is gonna be true for a year or two into the future with that. All right, how's it going there? I'm gonna check in with you guys over here. Hey, Barry. All right. All right. So, Barry, check your check your um, sound settings. Um, I got an okay that some people are able to hear and some people are not able to hear. All right. Let's see. How's it going over there on Instagram? Are you guys able to hear? Over there is a voice and mu music coming through. All right, Barry's on Instagram, yay. All right, 
<laughs> All right, let's see here. How's the audio on YouTube now? Can you guys hear me okay? Okay, the Instagram feed is going great. The YouTube audio, I'm not sure. Sound isn't working on YouTube. Okay. Let me check my things here. All right. Um, we're gonna keep going. Um, follow, if you can't hear the audio, just follow along with the movements. I'll try to make it really obvious. So um, I'll type that in the chat, follow along. All right, so let's try that again with some music for my Instagram and hopefully the audio on the YouTube will come back on with that. All right, we're gonna do some isolations. Here we go, isolations. <laughs> All right, so when we do isolations, we're gonna focus on sort of taking the lower half, we're gonna do step, step, lift and drop. Do that again, step, step, lift and drop. The knees are gonna be soft. We're gonna pull in the abdominals and release. Pull in and release, in and release. Knees are soft, in and release. So let's take the elbows up, in and release, in and release, in and release. Be using all of your muscles, keep the chest up, no dropping, lift up, stay up here, and your back is going to stay pulled under nice and long, pulling in and release, in and release, in and release, in, in, and in, in, good, let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, we're going to take one leg to the side, and if you want, you can lift it up or you can keep it down, whatever you want. Pull it in and release, in and release, in and release. Good. Keep the shoulders down. If you want, take the arms up a little higher. In and release, in and release. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. A nice deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, let's take it to the other side. And you'll notice between transitions, I'll always try to use my arms. Same thing, you can lift up or keep it down with the belly. In and release, in and release, in and release. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice deep breath, inhale up. Exhale, and down, good. Let's do chest. This time we're gonna take the foot and place it behind, like that, or here, either one. Lift and release, lift and release. Now using your upper abs, upper back, squeeze and release, squeeze and release. Keep your shoulders down, and release. Lift and release, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna step and change, other side, same thing, here or here. I'm gonna do this one, it's a little more challenging. So I'm working on my balance on my injured side. Same thing, squeeze and release, squeeze and release, squeeze and release, squeeze and release. Upper abs, upper back, shoulders down, squeeze and release, squeeze and release. Four, three, two, and one. Nice deep breath. Inhale up, exhale down, good. So now we're gonna take the shoulders, we're gonna put them on a shelf here. Shoulders coming forward, one and two, one and two. Now we're gonna move our arms with this. So keep that chest open, abs in, chest up, shoulders down. Start low and press the shoulders forward, 
You notice your back muscles should work when you do your shoulder movements. You're pressing your shoulder forward, but you're using your back muscles. So you want to really try to find those with that. A little faster. One, two, one, two. So we're going to start moving our arms up and down. So just finding the different muscles. Two, one, 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 two. Four, three, two. And we're going to keep going with the shoulders and you're just going to step and slide your weight over. So you can do a little plie if you want. Take it up. Stay with the arms coming up and down. One, two, one, two. Now when your arms come up, make sure your shoulders stay down, okay? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the shoulders going. We're going to plie down and come up. One, two. Now we're going to take the arms a little higher and down. So you're going to start in the center. Keep the abs in. One, two, one, two. Now when your arms come up, the shoulders stay down. Okay, they're just going forward and back. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Sliding across, plie. And ready on this side, taking the arms up. Here we go. Up, two, three, four, down. And up, and down. Keep the shoulders down. So I'm just looking at the comments here. All right, so there is no WebEx for this, for this series. I decided to do it all on YouTube and Instagram. How are we doing on Instagram, guys? Oh, hey guys, hi. Awesome. So we're just gonna do it on YouTube and, and Instagram. Instagram will just be like once a month. Um, the course will actually be on YouTube accessible, but it won't be public. Um, except for those who are enrolled in it. So this is an introduction to, for, to help you guys determine if, that's, if this is what you want to sign up for. So, oh, hey guys, hey, hang up at hi. <laughs> All right, so we got some people on that, on Instagram and YouTube. I'm sorry about the YouTube audio. All right, let's try a couple of more things. Here, slow moves, stretchy. <laughs> All right, so we have 
For our stretchy movements, we need two kinds of flexibility. The one that we've already done is the side movement. We want to really stretch that out. The other that we need for long, stretchy, or fluid movements is the back flexibility. So your back flexibility is a, a little bit more complicated because it encompasses so many different muscle groups. It incorporates um, really almost everything. And so this one is a little bit harder. If you, if you do practice yoga or anything that lengthens and strengthens the spine, um, uh, crunches aren't really great for dance if that's all you're doing. You don't want to like shorten your muscles. If you do ballet or yoga, we want to kind of lengthen and stretch. So we can lengthen and stretch this way. So that's abdominal flexibility. We need this to sort of do these high lifts. So stretching up. And notice we're not really doing it with the legs. There's no legs. So I'm not pushing with my leg. I'm reaching and stretching with the body. So I can plie and I can still pull up. And that's what you want. You want to be able to lift and stretch your body without hindering its movement. So if you're doing this to reach up with your body, you're actually locking your legs and you can't move when you lock your legs and you lock your back like that. So we need to make sure the legs are soft. I always like to do a little leg shimmy and that helps me determine that my alignment is good, that my legs are free if I want to travel, but that I'm also using my muscles more efficiently. So lifting and stretching up, relax the shoulders down. So that's one way to stretch this way. The other we already did, stretching to the side. Another way to do this is to reach up and reach over. So you want to go up first and then try to keep going upwards as you lean over. And so that's another way to sort of strengthen these muscles. With this one, you can actually lift your shoulders so you can get a bigger stretch and just lean and stretch over. And again, making sure that you're, you're not locking your legs. I still like to keep that movement, that alignment, even though I'm stretching, I like to kind of imagine that I'm gonna dance with this. So I need to be able to shimmy and move my legs and be free in my feet and my hips. Try that on the other side. Reach way up. You can move your shoulders up on this one. And then reach over, up and over. And again, you can use your legs. If you want to practice keeping some parts free while engaging others, this is a good way to do it. It actually makes you work a lot harder. Instead of just walking and over, it's much easier. But if you have to use both parts differently, it's much harder. So you get a little bit more strength. And then if you just want to stretch that part, then just stretch that part. Go way over, reaching up, pulling in, and then use your abs to come back up. The other side, reach way up, pull in and over. So make sure you're not just like, you know, sliding over, go up, then over. So you really feel that all over your abs, all over your back. And everything is harder when you have to talk through it and relax. Right. The other part of flexibility for fluid movement is the lengthening of the back. This one is probably the hardest one and takes the longest, I think, to actually develop. So this one, we really try to use the abdominals. This one can be practiced lots of different ways, but in a standing position, just a demonstration of how we're pulling in and how that back is lengthening. So no matter how strong your abs are, your back has to also be able to, to uh, stretch so that you can pull in and lengthen that back. So how far can you pull your, your buttocks or your lower half behind you and still be able to move? Right? Still stay on the balls of the feet with that. So see how far you can go. Pulling in without rounding. We're not doing that, right? You want to keep that chest open. And if, if it helps, you can have one foot in front, kind of like fifth position here. And pull in. And you're not trying to, you're not pushing. So we're not doing, we're not pushing the butt. 
you're pulling in through the abs. Pull in through the abs. Yeah, in and release. Keep that rib cage open and release. And in and release. And in and release. And in and release. And so what happens when you do this, you can also bend your knees a little bit more. Because now you've taken all of your weight, instead of putting it on your legs, you're pulling it inward and almost upward. Now your body is carrying the weight rather than your knees or your legs. So you can still like do stuff like, like in Persian, like you guys know I do a lot of this kind of stuff in Persian, right? And so we wanna be able to do that efficiently with uh, and fluidly without having sort of this um, sort of break in our alignment where everything just kind of falls apart and then you have to recover. Not that we can never like, you know, do stuff like that. That can be actually quite fun with that. All right. All right, let me just write a note to my, um, see if there, all right, I, I will put the recording from, recording from uh, Instagram on here. And link, and I'll send you guys the link. If audio is still bad. All right. So let's do, um, let's do my favorite thing. I love circles. I love hip circles so much. Um, so let's do some hip circles because they're really great for just loosening everything up here. So let's get a let's get a hip circle going. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna go. We're gonna start counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. I'm gonna go. This this is my counter from my left. Um, so counterclockwise and just get it going a little bit. Just have some fun with with these um, circles. And the challenge here is to try to keep the upper body uh, nice and smooth and your lower body continuing to move with the beat. And that includes the feet with that. So let's add a little foot step here. So every time that I'm bringing that hip forward and around, I'm gonna step on it. So this is really like coordinating the muscles and the feet to work with the music. Because that's the most important part actually is the music. We can dance, we can do all these things. It's just not, it's not really gonna be inspiring without the music, so which is why the, why the, the YouTube going out is not fun. So taking it around. But, so keep going with that one side and we're just gonna take it around, just really small, tiny steps. If you don't quite feel comfortable doing this, that's okay, we're gonna go over it in the series and we have lots of other videos that cover it, but just let's keep going around. Really small steps. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good. So the one thing I wanna emphasize here is again, using your muscles. And what I don't want you to do is this. I don't want you to use your legs, use your muscles. So think about all the muscles that we just worked. The stretching, the pulling in. It's a lot of work. And even after what, however many years I've been dancing and doing these, these very similar movements, I still get winded if I don't do them for a while. Like right now, I'm like, oh, I feel like I haven't really practiced these a lot. So it just takes time. So we're still on the same side going counterclockwise. And the first time we went around this direction, now we're gonna go the other direction, but we're not gonna change our, our circle. We're just gonna keep going, still stepping with that one foot. And again, if this doesn't feel like it's coming, that's okay, just try it. It might just come all of a sudden, just after a few tries, or you may need to work on it a little bit more. Keep that rib cage up, chest is open. Good, keep going. Now we're gonna try to travel a little bit to the side here, just a little travel step. So we're still leading with the same foot. One, two, one, two. 
So we are traveling, and then we have to stop. We have to go the other direction, but we're not going to change our circle. We're just going to start moving in the other direction, just with our feet. One, two. Nothing has changed about our movement. We're just changing the direction of our step. Let's do it again. Here. Four. Three. Two. And one, and we're coming back. And four. And three. And two. And one. Good. Come back to your center. Good. We're going to shake it out. Right? Stretch if you need. other direction so get your circle going the other side and we're going to step on the opposite foot on the beat this is just a medium beat you can do this to any music or just music in your head or your heart whatever comes out but step it around again making sure you use your muscles chest is open relax the shoulders good and we're going to go the other direction so we're going to go this way, going around, and step. And one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Use your body, use your muscles. Four, three, two, and we're going to travel the other direction now. So you're going to switch it and around. that we just 
just went through. So we're going to go up and over, up and over, so clockwise, up and over, up and over, up and over. I'm sweating already, so again, making sure you're using your abdominals, lifting and stretching from the front. It's a little faster music. Really accenting the up, 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 eight.
was faking it before. No, I'm not. <laughs> Just bring it up to the shoulders. And same thing, you're using those muscle isolations in the back. Pull the belly in, let's lean forward. So practice that, leaning forward. Keep that belly in, one, two, one, two on the shoulders. shoulders going and let's see if we can add a little arm movement. So now it's really your chest. So think about bringing the movement to the rib cage area. So these are these are some of the things that sometimes we don't use a lot in performance but they can really help us with like muscle engagement and stamina and conditioning. Shake it out. Nice deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Stretch. Stretch. Good. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. There's a link for the full course that is on the YouTube, and I'm going to put it on my uh, Instagram. It's on my bio, so link in bio for that. Check it out, and I'm going to be back in a couple of weeks. We're going to do another class for a new series, so I hope to see you then, and I hope you sign up for the class, and if you would like, if you're not in my group or on my mailing list, you can do that either through the through Facebook, you can contact me through Facebook or Instagram, and I look forward to dancing with you guys. I'm so happy we're dancing, yay. Thank you guys. I'll see you soon, bye.